Okay, here we're going to look at the nutrient film technique, which is involved with hydroponics, typically abbreviated NFT. You can see in this diagram we have a nutrient solution uh, with an air stone to keep it aerated, nutrient pump pumping that uh, nutrient solution here at the top level of a uh, trough. The water then, through gravity, flows down, passing over the roots, allowing plants to uptake vital nutrients, and then exiting out the bottom here back into our reservoir. Sometimes timers can be used to run this, other times this will be run for a continuous 24 hours. Now this NFT technique allows for a high degree of detail and can maximize performance. We see the very same setup here. This supplies aerated nutrient solution to the roots of the plant, and the plants uh, with a strong root system are established with a capillary mat and are fed a continually aerated nutrient solution in a channel system. This allows for the recirculation of that nutrient solution uh, with a holding reservoir. The size of that reservoir will depend on the amount or area that you'll be kind of running the nutrient solution through. Irrigation is typically done for a continued 24 hours. Uh, some will have timers that will turn off for a short period of time, but many times this is run uh, for 24 hours. Plants are commonly grown in rows that are tightly covered to allow for a high humidity within the root zone. And again, we see the same basic setup here, uh, pumping that water through and allowing it to drain uh, back. If the roots dry out, they will die, and this is why it's important to maintain that high degree of humidity. There's also concern about the pumps and the spread of disease, and this is why these areas should be covered and should be monitored uh, so that we're not spreading disease throughout the entire uh, operation here. Now, uh, because of this, or a variety of reasons, this technique has actually lost popularity uh, and is typically used with hobby growers or those that are growing lettuce. It has lost popularity on a large scale uh, for the fear of quick spreading of disease in a recirculating solution. And this is why it's been shied away from. Now, inert uh, media like Rockwell is the preferred source for large scale operations. It provides plants with a continual access to water, but it can be more beneficial to have specific irrigation events for fruiting crops. This is another reason why it's been lost its popularity on large scale production, because if a crop is looking at producing a fruit or a heavy uh, carbohydrate load, it might be beneficial to actually have some dry down events and to have some uh, re-irrigation um, events. Here with this 24-hour system with this continual flow of nutrients, it might be best for the consistencies of leafy greens, but not so much for those looking at high fruit load stress.